Hello, everyone. Today, we've got some fascinating royal news to discuss, and I'd love to hear your thoughts as we dive in. Have you ever thought about the power of unity? Tell us in the comments. So, King Charles and Queen Camilla have just wrapped up an official visit to Samoa, and it sounds like they were given a warm welcome. During a traditional ceremony held in their honor, King Charles took a moment to share an important message about the significance of unity. He highlighted how coming together as communities can help us tackle some of the pressing challenges we face today. Now, isn't that a message we can all get behind? In his speech, King Charles emphasized his lifelong belief in the power of education. He expressed that it can truly improve lives and connect communities throughout the Commonwealth and beyond. It's inspiring to think about how learning from one another can foster stronger ties. What do you think can education really bridge gaps and unite us? Share your thoughts below. One particularly interesting point he made was about the challenges that are felt most acutely in small island developing states. He mentioned the fellowships that help address these issues directly, which is a clever way to engage with local communities. It's always refreshing to see leaders who genuinely care about the impact of their words and actions. Have you seen any initiatives in your community that promote unity and education? Tell us in the comments. Now. Let's switch gears for a moment. Just a day before King Charles's heartfelt address, there was some drama brewing in the royal family. Prince Harry quietly re-released his memoir, Spare, but this version included a new foreword dedicated to his wife, Meghan, and their children. However, there was no mention of King Charles. That's raised a few eyebrows, hasn't it? Many royal experts had suggested that Harry might be trying to pave the way for a reconciliation with his father, so this new addition to the book seems a bit surprising. It's almost like sending a message without saying a word. Do you think Harry's decision was a snub, or could it be his way of navigating a complex family relationship? Let us know what you think in the comments. Despite the ongoing family drama, King Charles and Queen Camilla appeared to be in good spirits during their visit. A delightful video shared by Buckingham Palace showed them relaxed and enjoying their time in Samoa. It's nice to see them engaging with local traditions and communities, isn't it? It reminds us that even amidst challenges, there are moments of joy and connection. To sum it all up, King Charles's call for unity and education is a powerful reminder that coming together can help us address the many challenges we face today. And while family dynamics within the royal family can be a bit turbulent, it's clear that the king is focused on building bridges rather than walls. So, what do you think is the key to unity in our communities? Share your thoughts below. Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates on the royal family and other intriguing stories. Until next time, let's keep the conversation going.